Hello guys, what is up? It is Cameron coming back to you guys today to show you how to install iOS 8 early on your device. And this is if you want to be a part of the developer program, you get the betas early, so this will be iOS 8 beta 1 install tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it, how to get it early, and how to get it before it comes out in the fall for everybody else. Okay, so there's going to be a few steps that you're going to do. And I'm going to have all the links necessary in the description down below. So if you have any questions, look down there or look in the comment sections. I might have already answered the questions. Okay, but anyways, here's what we're going to do. First things first, you're going to need to register your UDID. And your UDID is like your device, your specific device number. And this is just what they use to verify that you're a developer and the person that's in charge of like these websites. Like I'm using UDIDregistrations.com. The person that's in charge of these websites will um, sign you underneath their developer program. Okay, so if you want to find your UDID, all you have to do is go into iTunes and it's going to be the number under serial number. You click right here and you see it pops over to UDID. You just copy this, so just right click copy it and then you're going to go back over to their website, click buy now and then you're going to do whatever, which one ever you want, bronze, bronze plus silver, gold. I just did bronze, you click buy now. Um, and they'll have you enter your information and paste it in your UDID. Then they confirm it and they send it to you. And your like they'll send you a little tracking number in your email, and it just says that your device is registered and ready to go underneath your UDID. Now, once you've done this and your UDID is registered and you've confirmed it's registered, you can leave that and you can go over to iModZone Downloads. So imzdl.com. I'll have a link in the description down below for this. And this is where you're actually going to download the beta version for iOS 8. And here's where it gets tricky. What you're going to need to do is find out which device number you are. So let's say you have an iPhone 5S. You need to find out if you're A1, A1453 or you know if you're A1457. And it depends on if you are in a CDMA or GSM device. So it depends on if you're on like a Verizon or AT&T one. Um, I'll have a link down below to where you can go to Apple's website and actually uh, pick out which phone you are and it'll tell you which number you are. I was actually the iPhone 5 and I was the A1428. So I downloaded this one, you just click direct and it will take you to right here and it'll send you to, um, I think it's mega upload or I guess mega.co.nz now and then you click download and it'll be on your computer. So I've already got that downloaded right here and what I'm going to do is right click on it, extract all extract and it's going to open up into this folder right here and this is where our uh, our actual little file that we're going to need is going to be and this is what we're going to use to restore our phone off of uh, I should also preface that you're going to want to back up your phone before you do this just because this is glitching you might want to restore back to like iOS 7 so make sure that you back up your phone first before actually doing this I would definitely recommend doing that for sure you definitely want to make sure that your phone is backed up before you even attempt this because it is buggy I had iOS 7 back in the day the beta edition and it was really glitchy so I actually restored back to iOS 6 for a little bit there but um while this extracts I'm just waiting a couple more seconds it should be done anytime soon it's kind of a large file about two gigs so it took I don't know like 20 minutes to download so just be aware that uh, if you have slow internet you might need to allot some time to download the file because it is somewhat large Alright, so we finally finished right here, and as you can see, inside the file you're going to get your Apple software right here. You can see Apple software, kind of a large file, but we don't really need it at this exact moment. So once we have it extracted and it's in this folder, we just need to know where it is, and then we can go back into our iTunes. And this is what you're going to need to do. If you're on an Apple or a computer, you're going to have to hit like Control shift but if you're on a Windows computer, you hit Shift, and then you click Restore Phone. So you click shift and then it opens up this right here and this is where you're going to go back to that folder that you just extracted. So I'm going back into that iOS folder that I just extracted, opening this up and it's going to restore it right here. So then it says iTunes will erase and restore your phone to iOS 8 and will verify the restore with Apple. So you click restore and then it's going to start restoring your phone and doing all the stuff. So it might take a little bit. I'm going to cut away and cut back whenever it's done extracting the software and stuff and show you guys what happened. Okay, so it's waiting on my iPhone right now. My iPhone is connecting to the actual, uh, it's connected to the computer ready to go. So it's been disconnecting and connecting, preparing for the update. And as you can see, it's been, it's restarted twice. Um, but in a second, you're going to see, and it's going to start loading up like it would a regular software update. And it's just going to load underneath the Apple logo as it would like if you were updating right from your phone. So it looks the exact same. 
and currently it's installing iOS 8 on the phone. This might take a couple minutes, so I might speed it up or cut away, but I will be back in just a minute whenever it finishes and I can show you guys what happened and what it looks like to be fully installed. All right, guys, so it's nearly done right now. Um, the phone is almost fully restored. It's at the very last notch. It took, I don't know, about three minutes, not too long. It's just verifying the iPhone restore, and then as soon as this finishes, it should pop up with, like, you know, the intro screen and stuff, and iOS 8 should be ready to go. So whenever I skip through or fast forward, all it did was verify the software and just run through. Okay, so as you can see right here, it says your iPhone has been restored to factory defaults. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear on iTunes window after it restarts. Just click OK. Um, it's restarting at the moment, so once it restarts, it should be ready to go. And <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I'm ready for iOS 8. It had a lot of cool new features, and it's very, very neat looking. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the software. Um, it's definitely nice to have a change from iOS 7 uh, after using it for so long. I don't know. Like, I like iPhones, but they haven't really innovated lately, and iOS 7 was pretty cool for a little bit there. But then you just see the Android updates and stuff that they get, and you kind of get jealous, you know, as an, you know, as an Apple user. But uh, the phone's nearly done. This is its last little run through. It's gonna. This one shouldn't take long. This one should be pretty fast. So once it finishes doing this, should be ready to go. So I'll just cut ahead to that whenever it gets done. All right, guys. So as you can see on the iPhone itself, it is fully installed, ready to go. iOS 8 is running now on my phone. I'm very excited about this. Pretty pumped. This is cool. So it's just the setup screen right now. You know. You know. Let me find the United States. I hope it wasn't at the top. I'll be sad. Um, yeah, anyways guys, iOS 8 is installed. I do hope this helped you. Uh, if it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on my video. Let me know. You can subscribe for more content. I've got reviews and unboxings and much more related to iOS 8 coming out, so stay tuned for that. But anyways guys, this has been Cameron. Hope you guys did enjoy and this helps you. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoy iOS 8. Just follow all the stuff. Look in the comment section. I might have answered questions down there or in the description down below. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.